What's up everybody, this is Hector Tech Preacher. So many PCs are great. If you want to have the perfect size monitor or TV that fits your needs. And grabbing the keyboard and mouse is really easy and is very cheap if you want the basics. Well, I'm reviewing the Geekcom Mini PC for review here. And it's a very interesting piece of equipment. Let me give you my thoughts. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is our back with another video. So this mini PC pack, great specs for the price. But before we get into all of that, let's talk about what you get in the box. So looking at the box, it's a nice presentation showing off the mini computer on the sides. When open up the box, you're greeted to the Visa mount set and screws. Next, you do have your HDMI cable, you have a power adapter, you have a user manual, you have a storage bag, and you have the Geekcom Mini IT8 itself, right? So this setup here comes complete and ready for connection. So let's go over the mini PC and talk about the IO ports. On the rear of the mini PC, you have the power port, the mini display port, the ethernet port, you have two USB 2.5 ports, you have a USB type C port and the HDMI 2.0 port, and that's great. So in the front, there's a USB type C port, USB 2.5 port, a headphone jack, and a power button. And on the side, there's an SD card slot. And then on the other side, you got anti-theft key locking hole slot. And as far as weight, this mini PC weighs 1,380 grams. So it has a good bit of IO to get the job done here with this mini PC. So let's talk about the specs here. The Geekcom Mini PC has an Intel Coffee Lake i5 8259U processor with four cores and eight threads uh, with a turbo boost up to about 3.8 gigahertz with six megabytes of cache. Uh, it has the Iris Plus 655 graphics in here. I got the 16 gigs of Kingsum DDR4 RAM that could be expanded up to 32 gigs. I got the 512 SSD, which also could be expanded. So the Geekcom has a Windows 11 Pro already installed. And lastly, let's talk about the price. This price here will set you back $439 to $549. I will leave all product links down in the description below. So let's talk about performance. With this eight gen i5 processor, it's very good for everyday normal tasks, such as watching 4K videos. Now this mini PC can support up to four displays at 4K 60 Hertz, and it's powerful enough to be a complete workstation if you need to get work done with multiple displays, which is really nice. So let's talk about gaming performance. I ran benchmark tests and its overall score was 2983 with a CPU score of 7880 and a 3D GPU score of 1812. So let me put this in some perspectives here. Going against the Chewy lockbox that I reviewed earlier, that scored 3000 overall uh, with a CPU score of 8122 and a GPU score of 1693. Also, I put it against my Mac mini m1 8 gigabyte version right that's a overall score the cpu score was 14,537. to put all that in perspective everyday tasks normal tasks with the, the geekcon will run very well 
but when it comes down to gaming, it becomes a different story. So gaming was a bit struggle here. Unfortunately, I couldn't play Call of Duty. Uh, it was just too much for it. Look, I, I couldn't even get past the low screen before it crashed. And that's kind of weird because I played Call of Duty on lower settings on a Chewy Mini PC with no issues and it played very well. But I was able to play some light games like Pac-Man and stuff like that, which was very good. Uh, you know, so light games, yes, but heavy games, not so much with this PC. Uh, but if you are a gamer and you're a heavy gamer, this is probably not the computer for you. But if you're a light to medium gamer, this will work for you. But the overall performance was good doing stuff like Word documents, browsing the web, looking at YouTube videos, watching 4K videos. You won't have no issues with this PC running multiple monitors at your leisure. So you won't have no problems using this computer with normal use. So the Geekcom Mini PC is a really good PC for normal work, right? Not so much as far as heavy gaming, but to get work done, to have a full workstation, to get a lot of work done, yes, this will work fine. Look, with the 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gig SSD in here, the performance with normal use is okay. I don't have no issues with that. I will leave all product links down in the description below if you wanna pick this up. This is like the Tech Preacher from E. Easy Computer Solution, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the Geekcom Mini PC in all its glory. See you guys on the next video. Peace.